Hi. The name of this tutorial is Blender 2.49B Camera Positioning Tutorial. Positioning the camera is a vital part of rendering a scene. In this tutorial, I will show you how to position the camera so that you can focus on a particular object, as well as to move it around so you can render the scene from close up, from far away, or at any angle. I will also show how to do a fly around animating the camera as if it was flying above the ground, alternating from close up to far away. I use version 2.49b for this tutorial. First, we'll create the objects in the scene. Delete the default cube. Right click, X key, then delete, then enter to confirm. Add a monkey, space, add mesh monkey. Make the monkey green by pressing the shading buttons, F5. Then in the material subcontext, click Add New. Set the RGB colors to R equals 0, G equals 1, and B equals 0. Press the Tab key to go into Edit Mode. Go to the Edit buttons, F9. Press the Set Smooth button to smooth the monkey mesh out then press F9 to go into object mode. We will now set up the camera with adequate light. Press the home key to show all the objects in the scene. Let's see how the lamp works. Use the shaded mode draw type so we can see how the lamp shades the monkey. Move the lamp around the monkey to see how the lamp causes different parts of the monkey to be highlighted. Press num1 to go into front view. Move the lamp close to the camera. Make the lamp the child of the camera so that the lamp will follow the camera. This will ensure that no matter where the camera goes there is enough light. The setup is similar to the old-fashioned cameras where a little light is attached to the camera. To make the lamp the child of the camera, select the lamp first, right click, then press shift, right click, and select the camera. Press control P to make the camera the parent of the lamp. Note the dashed line between the camera and the lamp, indicating the parent-child relationship. Camera and lighting setups can get complicated. We're going to look at some simple setups that hopefully will get you started. To start, split the 3D viewport horizontally, making the right view a camera view. One simple idea is to have the camera follow the monkey around. To do this, select the camera, go into the Object buttons, F7. Go to the Constraints panel at the extreme right and click the Add Constraint button. Choose the Track 2 constraint. Go to the OB button and type in the name of the monkey, Suzanne. We need to tell the camera how to align itself with respect to Suzanne. Press the last minus sign, which means the minus Z direction. In Blender speak, minus Z means down. In the up section, click on Y. X would work as well. Now, no matter where we move the camera, Suzanne is in view. We can do a close-up or go far away or move to an angle. More often, you're not focusing on one object, but instead you want to move the camera around the scene without moving any object in particular. To do this, create an empty object and track the camera to it. We'll create an empty object, which is just a point in space, at 0, 0, 0. Press Shift-C to position the cursor at the origin, 0, 0, 0. Then press space add empty to add the empty object, which is named appropriately enough empty. Select the camera. Go back to the track 2 constraint, delete the word Suzanne, and add the word empty. And make sure capitalization is observed. It has to be exact. Now the camera follows the empty object instead of Suzanne. To illustrate this, select the empty object, move it around, and watch what happens in camera view. We can also select the camera and move it around for a close-up or a far away shot, or anything in between. This setup is much more flexible than locking the camera on Suzanne.
Finally, we'll look at animating the camera so that it flies around the monkey. Delete the camera's track 2 constraint. First, select the camera. Before we place it on the path, we need to set its rotation and location to zeros. Press Alt-G to set its location to 0, 0, 0. Press Alt-R to set its rotation to 0. Press the Z key to go into wireframe mode. Now we're ready to create the path around which the camera will follow. To do this, press Shift-C to position the cursor at 0, 0, 0. Add a Bezier circle. Space, add, curve, Bezier circle. Scale it up four times. S for enter. So that it forms a big circle around Suzanne. Go to the edit buttons, F9. Press the curve path button. This makes the Bezier circle act as a path for the camera. The path len determines how many frames the animation will take. Keep it at 100. The object, by the way, is named Curve Circle. Now select the camera. Go to the Object buttons, F7. Press Control down arrow to make the button's window full screen. Add a constraint to the camera. Select the Follow Path constraint and set the object to Curve Circle. Click the third minus sign for minus Z and the Y button in the up area. Now we add another constraint, the track 2 constraint on Suzanne. Click the add constraint button. Select the track 2 constraint. As with the follow path constraint, click the third minus sign for minus Z and the Y button in the up area. Press Shift Alt A. The camera should follow the path of the Bezier circle. Move the Bezier circle path above the monkey by selecting the circle, pressing the G key, and then the Z key to constrain on the Z axis. Press Shift Alt A to animate. The camera circles around the monkey following the path. The animation stops at frame 100 and pauses until frame 250. To fix this, go to the Scene buttons, F10, and set the end frame to 100, and then press Shift-Alt-A. To summarize, we can focus the camera on a specific object, focus the camera on an empty object, and move the empty or the camera to get various views of the scene, and we have animated the camera around a path similar to flying over a scene. I hope this gives you some idea for camera positioning in Blender. Happy blending!